Hello everyone, this is Satvik and welcome to the 6th episode in Linux Privilege Escalation series. And in this video, I'll be showing you how you can escalate your privileges in Linux machine through the help of capabilities. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all, really, really thank you for all your support. If you want to connect to me personally, you can check out my Twitter and the LinkedIn. The links are in the description below. And if you want to be part of my community where you can share your doubts or ask questions or anything like that, you can check out my Discord server. The link is in the description below. So guys, uh, in the previous videos, we discussed uh, we discussed about some various uh, privilege escalation means in Linux machines through the help of kernel exploits through sudo through suid and various stuff if you haven't watched that you can check out my playlist uh i'll leave the link for that in the description below you can find that in my channel so where all these videos are covered and uh, coming to this part so this part is related to capabilities so it is not like an english word guys so it is a kind of uh, uh a Linux feature you can call okay so this is my notes guys uh, I think you if you are following me from previously you might have known that and I'll be leaving everything every resource that I'm going to use in this video in the description below you can do check them out from there so we seen how we can uh, escalate through kernel exploits through sudo through suid and now we'll be looking at capabilities so I'll give a brief about what capabilities are guys so capabilities are some kind of uh, uh, related to suid only see what happens is in suid you will give all the uh, owner permissions to a process or a binary to run but in capable is what they try to do is like they try to give only a limited amount of uh, uh, like it's a kind of subset of privileges of uh, owner to the process binary or application or anything like that see what uh, the reason why this is used is like if you give suid the chance of getting a uh, misused is more but capable is the chance of uh, getting a uh, misused or it's more secure but even though uh, since we are looking on some vulnerable applications or vulnerable machines which are available on try hack me or hack the box so you can uh, check how you can escalate uh, like through the help of these capabilities and guys if you want to learn more about these capabilities i leave you the best link in the description below where you can check that out but uh, the brief that I gave you for this video is absolutely fine. It's a kind of SUID, but with only limited privileges are given to the process or binder or anything like that, which is on Linux machine. Okay. We are only discussing about Linux machine. Okay. So in order to look that, uh, so there is a by def a default or user defined applic uh, default application, sorry, uh, or predefined application called as get cap. So you can run that. So uh, like if you don't know how to do, how or uh, don't know what this tool is all about or what this command is all about, you can always uh, feel free to use this explain shell. So it's uh, like get cap is like to examine the file capabilities, like what are the capabilities of a particular file or a a binary or anything like that so r in the sense like we are looking for some it is looking for some recursive search and to greater than slash dev slash null is some kind of to handle some uh, errors or anything like that right so we copied the command and uh, let's go back to our machine so let me do a who am i quick who am i so we are on linux machine and we got access to this particular machine as karen so uh, let's run this tool or uh, run this command or tool get cap is a kind of tool it's pre-defined uh, pre in many uh, like almost all the linux applications i think so uh, linux operating systems so you need to wait for some time so it is going to show you some processes like you can uh, use them or you cannot use them it's fine but uh, what happens like can, you can see guys so this is some kind of capabilities uh, that they are providing so you can read more about these capabilities from the description below so we, we got some few stuff here guys so, so if you can see so mtr packet is some kind of uh, a user defined application or some predefined application i'm not sure about that but trace root ping vim view or some like predefined thing only so even here guys uh, we will getting so we'll be making use of gtfo bin so for Linux privilege escalation, you we mostly use this GTFO bins like uh, based on my complete experience. Okay, so you can search for anything like that. You can search for ping. Okay, you can see there is no nothing related to ping. Okay, uh, let's what we have again here. Uh, we have view. Let's see what this is about. So we have view here. We have some limited SUA. Uh, we have like there is some section called as capable disk. You can see there is a capable disk section. There is something for there is also Vim. 
so i'm looking for him you can see there is something like uh, i think there is a capabilities yes there is capabilities so there is a section for capabilities uh, if there is a chance you can th through which you can escalate uh, there is something you can like that you can do look, uh, like that so guys uh, you can see that this is how you can uh, like they they have given the process like what they are doing so what mostly this gdf uh, does is like they try to even create a capability as well but uh, which we don't require here okay we don't require that here so how you can do that is like you can simply copy this command okay so like you can see if you don't know about it you can simply go to the explain shell uh you can paste that and let's see what it is all about so we are trying to run a vim okay uh like we we are trying to compile a script here okay it's a python based script okay so like that okay so let's run this and let's see what happens so so let's ask i think there is some kind of issue guys uh so guys uh, there is an error here so what happened is like uh, this command uh, like it is uh, like we you can see that it is a python based uh, thing so it's a reverse shell using python so what we need to do is like we need to change this particular thing to the python 3 okay because if you go to this uh, machine and if you type python so the version which is in the, the python version which is installed here is uh, uh, python 3 so we need to mention py3 here so we'll do that like we just need to modify this a small bit okay so let's copy this once again like you'll get errors guys like you'll definitely get er get errors but uh, the the sweet or the beauty is when you try to resolve them so you can simply add pi3 here i did some kind of research because even i too ran into an issue i'm not going to edit this i'm going to put this in the video itself where you can understand uh now you can see uh, i just pasted the command guys and you can see i got some kind of a shell so if i do a who am i you can see i'm root here so what i what happened here is like guys this particular command is to like it is executing it is compiling this particular python uh, python or reverse shell if you go and look in some pen test monkey or some website so this is uh, related to that you don't need to remember all these things if you have access to gtf for bins it is going to remember everything for you but the issue here is like uh, we they haven't specified any python version here so it can be python 2 or python 3 so i specified python 3 and uh, i got the shell so that is how guys you can do that like there is also some other stuff as well i think there is some uh, other thing like uh, uh, view or i think so there is an, another uh, application where you can where has this capabilities enabled so you can try to uh, escalate or leverage privileges through that so that is going to be a kind of assignment for you if you want to uh, put this in a practical way so that is it guys for today's video and this video regarding capability so i'll give leave the link for all the resources and everything that i used in this video you can do check them out from there and also uh, if you got confused so this is the uh, room the I'm using the same room okay uh, which they which I've been using since the episode one so you can do there you can uh, learn from here as well so they the detailing is also really good guys so if you miss something you can read the uh, the matter uh, there is some kind of description here you can read from there and you can get a good kind of uh, information from that so uh, that is it for this episode guys in the next episode we'll try to see some other stuff like how you can escalate to cron jobs so cron jobs are some kind of uh, some other way to escalate it's a kind of schedule jobs okay and through path and network file sharing so that is that is all guys uh, i'll meet you in the next video thank you